All right, let's get ready with our T6 to take a photograph, okay? The first thing we're gonna do is gonna go to the bottom of the camera where it says card battery open, and I'm gonna press on the latch and lift the little door. Um, so this is where I would uh, change my battery out. We have a little latch here that I can um, put it back in. And I just wanted to point out that it has these little metal prongs. You have to make sure that you're putting the battery in the right way um, so that the metal is hitting the four metal prongs in the bottom here. Otherwise, it's not going to be charging if it doesn't make that contact. So make sure that um, the prongs are down, those four golden prongs, um, and making sure that you're actually putting it in the uh, camera correctly. Okay, right next to this, we have our storage. So I'm gonna push down on my SD card to bring it up. Notice the direction that it's in that we have this little cutoff on the edge and it even tells you on the door here displayed here um, What direction you should be putting it in so that was another problem is that we had people putting it in backwards Notice that there's also these metal prongs right here. They need to be facing the battery um, And if you ever have a question about that make sure that your um, SD card matches the icon on the door. We're gonna press that in and shut our door and now we are ready to uh, turn our T6 on. So I'm going to go to the top here and select on. And I'm gonna start on manual mode. So I need to make sure that my dial is on M. So you can simply, you don't have, sometimes they have a button here, you don't have to do that. You just have to turn the dial to M so the little white line aligns to M. And the first thing I wanna do is Focus my camera. So on my lens, I need to look for where it says AF for autofocus and MF for manual focus. I need to make sure that it's on MF for manual focus. And then um, I wanted to point out two rings on your camera. Um, one of them is your focus ring. So this is the actual ring that I would move to focus the camera. And then this is the ring that I would use to actually zoom in and out uh, while using the camera. So. Again, we're gonna send it to MF to make sure that it's on manual focus. And then I'm gonna actually use this ring while uh, using the camera to actually focus. Okay, so um, it's on, it's on manual focus. Um, and then the next thing I wanna do is, I wanna look at the back of my camera. And um, right now I'm in display mode. So you could uh, come up here to the camera icon select it here to actually get a live view of what you're taking a photograph of, but I actually like to have it here um, so that I can actually see my settings. So this first one here is our shutter speed. So that is how fast the shutter or how long the shutter speed shutter is opening for. Um, so it, uh, this is one eighth of a second. So how long is it open and then shut? Here we have our aperture, the f-stop, and we know that's the f-stop because it starts with an f, and that's how wide or small my aperture is. And then last but not least, we have our ISO, okay? Now, something else I wanted to point out to you is um, the button that takes the picture, but this is our shutter release button, and this is what we're going to select. Um, one, if we actually push down halfway, that's gonna meter um, the light that's coming into the camera. And if I pull it, if I push it down all the way, it's actually gonna take the picture. So what I wanna do here is I'm gonna go back to the back of my uh, camera here and I'm gonna push down halfway on my shutter release button and notice here that it's not metered. That means that I'm not ready to take a picture yet. That means I need to change my exposure before I actually take the picture. So um, again, I'm going to push down, and then if I use the little wheel here, um, we notice that there's these two little arrows next to shutter. I can actually move the shutter and then meter again until I can see that it's actually um, aligned, and then I can take my picture, and that picture would actually be exposed correctly, okay? Um, what if I don't really care a lot about the shutter speed, I actually care about the aperture. Uh, maybe I wanna have a really deep um, uh, uh, deep depth of field, and so I wanna have um, an f-stop that's like f22, not a, you know, a really wide open one. Um, so what I could do here is hold down the AV button and then use the wheel to increase my um, aperture, so it's gonna be really, really small, but now when I meter again, do you see how it's negative three? Ooh, that means that I need to make the um, shutter longer until I come over here, and I can take a picture, 
but notice how long it's taking so that was a long time. So it is it correctly exposed, um, but if I don't have it on a tripod, then we're gonna be in trouble, okay? The other thing I can do is change my ISO. So I can actually select this ISO right here, and this is where I can actually um, change the ISO. So remember that the higher the ISO, the brighter the image will be, but the, also the grainier it will be. So I'm gonna select 1600 and um, go back to metering, and now it's too bright, right? Because I, pump the, that ISO. So I'm going to change so I can have a faster shutter speed until I'm metered again. And then I'm gonna take a picture. So that's basically exposure, okay? So um, we talked about focusing. You need to make sure that it's focused. Um, you need to make it sure it's exposed correctly. But the other thing you need to make sure is that it's white balance. So it is set on custom white balance, So, but how do I white balance if I'm in a different lighting situation? So I'm gonna pick the WB button on the back of the camera, and I'm gonna pick custom. <clears throat> and then the next thing I need to do is go to menu, and I'm gonna go to the screen, it's one of the red ones that says custom white balance. And it's gonna say, do you wanna set this to this? So what I need to do is take my white balance card and I actually need to take a picture of that white card. So first I need to do that. Then under menu, I can go to custom white balance and then I'm gonna say that I wanna use this, this is the white card I just took a picture of, and say set, yes. I wanna use this white balance data, this image, to set my custom white balance and say okay. Um, the other uh, options you have under white balance is if you pick white balance, um, maybe you are using a flash or maybe you're in fluorescent lighting, um, you could use some of these presets, but I always like to use um, custom because then I know for sure that I'm not gonna have blue or orange casts. Um, so that's basically that in a nutshell. Um, the other thing I just wanted to show you guys is that there is an app. I'm gonna bring up my iPhone. Got a message here. Um, I'm gonna bring up an app and it's called Camera Connect. I'm gonna bring this up here. And basically this is a Wi-Fi camera. So I can actually um, connect to this camera. I already tried it. Um, so the camera's not connected right now. Um, what I actually need to do is in my settings, I'm gonna go to menu, and we need to go over to it's one of these yellow, guys, Wi-Fi function. So first of all, it has to be enabled up here under Wi-Fi, and then function, and then I wanna connect to my smartphone. You have to have the app for it to actually work. And then I'm gonna hit connect, and then say connect to device. And I've already connected before. Um, um, so now I gotta go back to my Wi-Fi and actually say that I wanna connect to the Canon. Okay, I'm gonna go back to here, back to the app now that it's connected to the camera. Okay, so now it's camera and I wanna actually use remote live view shooting. This is gonna be so cool, guys. All right, basically what I'm doing is this is what the camera sees and I can control um, the aperture, the ISO, all right here in the camera on my phone and it's actually controlling the camera wirelessly. Oh my gosh. Can you believe it? I don't think you believe it. All right, and then I can actually take a picture and it's actually taking a picture with the camera but I'm, it's appearing in my library now. So I just wanted to show you that feature, super cool, and that is how we use the T6.